Hello, hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Meet the Shoe. I'm Nina. I'm Sade. Hey, and today we are um, live. <laughs> I'm from, I'm in Minnesota. Where are you, Sade? I am in Las Vegas. What hey. you doing tonight? What you got going on? Well, tonight we're just going to chill um, uh -huh. for the moment. But then tomorrow night is the Usher concert. Hey. Uh, got uh -huh. us in a room. We got the We Love It tour tickets. Okay. So Gonna see how it they said out. that he. They said that he has a real live show, like strippers, and he yes. brings out a special guest, and Ooh, yes. he does a lot of stuff that um he brings the entertainment back into live concerts. And, and it's not just, good. huh? And that's good. I like. Yeah. That. Cause it, cause, cause now the now the people with concerts like the, a lot of people they were saying like R and B they're not spending money on their shows but they said that he has spent a lot of money on his shows he has um paid for special guests to come oh yeah all of that so you guys should have a good time yes he had a concert <laughs> tonight so we're just gonna go over and sneak by the doors and see what's going on just to snoop a little bit see who come in and out you know what I'm saying right right, right. tomorrow's our night I'm ready okay. All I right, can't. and uh, don't be looking because I know I I've got my braids under here. I'm gonna wear my little nice little wig. You know? Okay. <laughs> I actually have time. Look. I did not. Mm -hmm. have time. But Are yeah. you ready? You ready for Usher, huh? I know. I don't know. I'm how I, I I don't know if I'm. I think I was more excited for the 25th uh, reunion. Me and you went to when we came to Las Vegas for. Yeah, uh, Las Vegas does it, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> Kitty concert because baby, yeah. see, all the celebrities would sit next to all the celebrities. Remember that? Oh, right. My, yes. Oh. Yes. That was yes. that was a really good memory. Yes, it was. And then I last we saw. Um, we saw so many people. I was next, right next yeah. to Omar Epps, and I didn't even know it. You said, "Yeah." <laughs> Remember, we tapped him on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he knew it too. When we tapped him on the shirt, shoulder, he just turned around and just stood there. We like, can we get a picture? He's like, yeah. He's just standing there taking all the pictures. He is, yeah. he is enjoying himself. Yes, he was. Remember I who was it? Uh, Buster Rhymes on this side, Nelly yeah. on that side, Floyd yeah. Mayweather in front of us. Yeah. yeah, that was that was really really. Diddy's mom. Yeah. Remember Diddy's mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the twins. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really, 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 really good concert. Yes. Yeah, it was one of <laughs> we got backstage, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was. That was nice. Evelyn, DMX. Remember you, yeah. DMX? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we had a good time. Yeah. That was a nice concert. I'm hoping it's nice, like kind of like that, because we kind of close. We're not as close as we usually be, but uh huh. I don't hey, mind. you in the building though. Yes. You in the building. You get to see the experience. Yes, yes, see the experience. Yes, ma'am. Yes. But well, on the harsher news, um, this week is a big story. You want to break it down? Well, <laughs> we want to know if it's a lot of people have um their mixed feelings. Feelings about what happened in Chicago and one uh -huh. of Maxwell. You know, uh, Maxwell hot dog stands in, on the south okay. side. Okay. So, uh -huh. hood, yep. she dis uh, decided to, you know, go grab food, thinking you're going to get out your house, leave. I mean, go thinking you're going to leave. Okay. Uh -huh. Even right. James, the 35 year old, mm -hmm. said, you know, you're going to get food. And um, it's Jeremy Brown. He's 32 years old. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Jeremy. Brown. So these uh -huh. two argument about food. I don't. We don't really know the context of what they were saying, but all yeah. you do is hear him say, um, "Say something else. I'm a. I'm a knock you out on my grandmama and all this." On oh, my grandmama. Why do men <laughs> have to put their hands on women like that? And the way. Yeah, he, I didn't understand it. Yeah, the way he punched her. A more, a more than a multiple times. Yes, multiple times. Not just. Yeah. I mean, back from Texas, he, he I mean, he went yeah. way to come hit her. I'm yeah. surprised her mug shots. Her face looks swollen, but I'm surprised she don't have like nuggets. black eyes. 
or it, wherever he hit her, she might have went down and hit her in the head or something. Because well, I, from I, from the video, from the way the camera was being held, the force was in her head and in her cheek, like at the top, like here, right? right? From the looks of it, don't know. They didn't show it. They didn't. I had no one did a slow mo on the on oh. the video, mm. but they even um, recorded him getting shot. But they're that. not. They're not showing that part, right? Right. Um, what I didn't like, what was really disturbing, outside of the the fact that he pu he punched her the way that he did, and then you know it turned deadly, right? All the men that were there were real live punks that did not stop him or but ask him. No one stepped up to even say, don't the lady. First of all, she never cussed him. I didn't hear a curse. Did you hear a curse word? She never cursed him. She rarely raised her voice. Her voice stayed at the level that it was at. She never threatened him. Mm -hmm. She continued to talk to him and he was telling her, say something else. Now, when you sit back, cause we've witnessed abuse and we've been involved yeah. in abuse, right? Oh yeah. Was someone telling you to be quiet, right? And they're threatening you to be quiet. You're definitely not going to listen. No. Usually, usually when a woman is threatened, Mm -hmm. she will start cussing and going off and going crazy and snapping. Right. You know, she did none of that. Mm -hmm. So for the, for the mere fact that he continuously told her to shut up or what he was going to do, he started off with the threat and the threat, the threat in a line about yeah. food. Even the people that were in the back, mm -hmm. they didn't even say, if oh, you don't I stop, you're going to have to leave you know, no one stepped up to say anything. Not it even showed. the person with the camera, which possibly was supposed to be his girlfriend who was recorded. I'm not sure, but yeah. he's recording. She should have been telling him to stop it. She's leave that lady alone. You know what I'm saying? But she was laughing behind the camera like it was cute. That lets you know. And then, and then she's saying all these things, but they said that he rearranged her face too. They said that he was abusive to her as well. So wow. you have someone that thinks abuse is funny and she's a woman. You're mm -hmm. sitting there recording. You didn't think that it was going to go down the way that it did. Oh. And then you, you're you sitting there egging him on. That's what it looked like to me. You're egging him right. on mm -hmm. for the mere fact that he think it's cute mm -hmm. that he can punch another woman while your woman's standing right there. Right. And that's dead wrong. She should be ashamed of herself. Yes, yeah, she should. And now she's now she's manless. Right. And the kids are his kids are fatherless. Yeah. All yeah. for his own action choice. Mm -hmm. His mm -hmm. own choice and action, right? Mm -hmm. it, and 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 what point do you constantly talk about um he has a mother. He has a, he has children. So does she. Mm -hmm. So does she, her son was right there and he came right to her defense and aid like he was supposed to. That's so exactly what he was supposed to do. So with the story, they say that um, Carly should text her son to say, come in. They didn't say exactly what she said, you know, from uh, word for word, but she did text her son to come in. And when he saw the, argument him hitting he jumped to his mother's defense like any child would do that's what he was supposed to do supposed the to mom do. but <laughs> this isn't funny but i couldn't i couldn't help myself from laughing but it but it but it's the true mm -hmm. fact of what how things go down when the son came in and shot the man right they said hyper you know allegedly that mm -hmm. She was stating to shoot all the witnesses. Really? So shoot the ones that shoot the ones that were egging it on. Not not oh. the innocent people. Shoot the other men that were get him and get him that were tell like that. Oh, someone wow. was someone was egging the situation on. 
Mm-hmm. And they said the mother was upset and said for her for him to shoot the other people that were egging the situation on, right? I don't know how true it is, but that's what the rumors say, right? Allegedly. And, you know, you read comments and you go down yeah. in that rabbit hole through all these sites. I know I do yeah. because that's what we, you know, we do our journalism work, right? And through all the comments, you see comments like, yeah, and yep, he called down his grandma and now he's resting in peace with his grandma. He right there with her. And um, they were, you know, saying like, you know, um, you keep your hands to yourself. You will still be alive. You know, everyone. They were saying another one. He came in for hot dogs, but he left with his wings. Yeah, came in with, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I read that one too. Yeah. But so she, they go to jail, you know, Cook County Jail. Yeah, she went to jail. Yeah. Kim Fox is the prosecutor, the same woman that uh, charged R. Kelly with all those charges, Kim Fox. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Her office charged this lady with first degree, her son, first degree murder. As How can, know, and then, and then, and here's the meditated. Her first meditate. degree is premeditated. Is the lady went in there, the late, the woman went in there with intent to buy food. Didn't know this man. Didn't, Didn't know the man. How, how, how do you charge? Where That's where they failed at. That's where they messed up at. And they had yeah. to stop the charges. So yeah. now. There's no way they can go back and even charge you with anything because y'all ran over your feet, Chicago police, prosecution, yeah. and now right. she, you know what I'm saying, she'll be free, you know, because if they would have did it right, I, I already know, Minnesota, I, yeah. I hate to say it, but they'd be on point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they would with a second degree. Exactly. Unintentional, unintentional murder. Unintentional murder, yeah. Because she or didn't intend... Murder. She right, didn't but but her. even even still, is she at fault for telling her son to come in? She's a she's a gun carrier. Yes, she yep. she's a permitted to carry. She's mm-hmm. licensed to carry, so yeah. she's gonna go anywhere protected. Mm-hmm. She yeah. was in danger. She was yeah. in danger. That is a definite, definite, definite cl- case of stand your ground. Yes, yeah. Out of all is. these stand your ground cases and all of that. Hers stand it. Yeah. You, 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 what is a child supposed to do? Stand there. Oh, mommy. What? No, No. (laughs) he got dumped on and, 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 and ended up dead because of his own actions of disrespecting a woman. And then you physically harmed her. Yeah. No, you have no respect for a woman at all. I don't care you did. Oh, my grandma. Your grandma should have been clicked some of your head and said, don't you put nothing on me, son. You right. leave me alone. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't get why these women want to, these men want to put their hands on women. Keep your hands in your pocket. Right. But, you know, it's such, such, such an attack on the black woman right now. Yeah. Like, it just seems like more than any, like it comes from every single angle. Mm-hmm. Everybody is so intimidated and angry at us just for being a woman and being black. It's like, it's really, really tiring It's hard. that you got to sit there and watch this. Like, why did you put your hands on her? Like the all, all I watched that video at least 20 times. I know right. that's overkill, but I just kept watching it to just see his rock back, his slapping his hands, oh his his conversation and his his body language, like the lady. And I did it. I watched it that many times to see the woman, right? right. To she watch. Did, she didn't seem uh, defensive or anything. She didn't say oh. nothing in oh. that video. She didn't say anything in the video. It could have been things that happened before then. I'm not denying that. I'm right. not saying that it could have been, but in that video, she did not raise her voice. Mm. She did not call a name. She mm. did not curse and she did not disrespect. Right. She continued to talk to him and mm. and and when she, the way she was talking to him was saying, you know, talking to him like respect me. You yes. know, respect me. Stop. Th- stop. Like she didn't say that, but the way she was talking in the conversation she was trying to have with him. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Shut up. You better shut up. Like it's like, wait, 
you do you doing all this to a stranger in in a room full of people that you knew wasn't going to do nothing that still bothers me right now to this day that you have all these people around men men older men too mm. a lot of older men that were in there and i just don't understand it why stop letting people stand by and do stuff just like everybody um in new york when that man got choked out by three people laying on the ground and nobody said stop it you don't have to hold this man down that long come on right man. Our world get it together get it together it's like they're looking for an intent to try and do something and get away with it because they're seeing in the media that they're not nobody's doing anything about it right like that, that that's what it seems it's like everybody's looking for that that viral moment and they and they don't care that it's negative but right. what they're not realizing is this was a true example mm -hmm. of you get you got what you asked for yeah, what you you asked got for. what you asked for. You definitely, he definitely got what he asked for because you know, you didn't, you didn't think that a child was standing by watching you mm. and it took a child to end the act right yeah. there. Yeah, you try, I, yeah. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, other mitigating factors may have played into her getting dismissed. He may have a, a record of abuse. Domestic abuse. Any well, they they already put that all across the internet, honey. They said that he whooped on every girl that he was with, and they said that he there was a charge from this woman in question that's that took the video. They said that something about he dis he almost dismembered her face. See, see what I'm saying? So that's why they uh, dropped the charges as well. You know what I'm saying? They had to. They had to. He goes around beating on women. Go around beating on women. That's his that motto. from 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 what his background say. That's his that's his motto. And so he yeah. thought he was gonna walk away from this, but God was tired of it. Yeah, yeah. So, God or the devil, who whoever, whoever took his soul forward. was tired of it. Oh, okay. To so fast forward, Carlisha Hood is soon yeah. as Chicago Police Department, for, as she should, as she know, should, making her, making her feel she's going through emotional stress. Of course she is. I mean, abuse. Her, her son is traumatized. Traumatized, yes. And hey, who's to say she might she might get something? She got a lawyer. He's, he's she like deserves lawyer. something. Yeah. So, because this is gonna be talked. This is history books now. This is gonna right. be talked about forever and ever and ever. She oh. will never forget them five seconds. No, she won't. Mm -mm. Thirty minutes, whatever it was, she will never in life forget that. Mm -mm. No, she and won't. neither would a boy. No, he won't either. He won't forget it. Because you know what? He knows that he was the cause of someone's death. So I think that's kind of, for his age, it's going to be like, we don't know what side of the road he, positive or negative at this point after that. So I'm, uh, I hope his family go get him some treat, you know, Mental oh, he's going to get treatment because, because um, Nicki Minaj has came out with a statement um, about two hours ago stating that when it's time for him to go to college, she's paying for a full ride scholarship for him to college. Yeah. If, he, if, 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 if he chooses to go. Right. Okay. She got something for him as as any mother, especially the mothers, you mo you mothers that have sons, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you understand what it means for a child to protect their mom. Even little girls, they try to protect right. their mom. Mm -hmm. Like you would stand there and think that it was okay to do that. So yeah. it's just yeah. a good thing that he has celebrities that's stepping up for him. Yes. To help him forget about the tra tra traumatic moment that yes. took place a couple of days ago, you know, he's never going to forget that the kids are going to be teasing him in a good way and a bad way about it. Yeah. And I, and I, and I, and I hope that for her, that she doesn't have a career to where that will make her stay in Chicago. I hope she will leave the state. Maybe leave Chicago. Move yeah, out definitely, state. definitely yeah. need to move, definitely move far away. Yeah, I, change I just, it all up I, all together. I second that. Yeah, couldn't live, Party. couldn't live comfortably get there. Get out yeah, of here. Exactly. Live comfortably after this. You doing? Yeah, never. Get out of there.
Yeah, she got a lawsuit now, so they got a head. They're gonna have it out for her. Oh yeah, right. Definitely. That 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 not necessarily the the justice department because they get lawsuits all the time. I'm saying the community, right? Oh. Any 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 winnings of it, they'll be looking to try to take it. You know, mm -hmm. just out of jealousy. It's gonna be a lot of lot of traumatic things that could follow. Hopefully yes. not, but that could follow after something like so devastating that that has happened. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. And 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 still in all, you know, well, our hearts go out to the families of the of, of the person. I can't necessarily say he's a victim. She was the victim, right? But yes. the man that lost his life because he has children, and now out of the act that he caused and yes. that he initiated. He's yeah. not here to watch his children grow up. That that's 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 devastating. So yeah. the whole situation is horrible. Horrible and should not have ever happened. No, I I I hope that um if he has daughters, sons, you know, whatever his children, whatever he has, that they that they see the lesson out of it. Yeah. Yes. Because I I definitely learned. I, I I told my kids don't even argue with nobody. No, Let them win. Sense. When it's an argument all the time, whether it's a, a, a battle of who's right and who's wrong, it's usually someone's embarrassed. Yeah. Embar right. Yeah, you right. don't you 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 don't you don't want to feel like you're being punked mm -hmm. and or, or, or disrespected. Yeah. And yes. what like 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 I was saying with her, her voice stayed the same and the conversation that she was having didn't seem threatening to me in the clip that we saw. We only can judge it by the clip that we seen. Mm -hmm. But I want to take it over to a situation that could have turned out bad. Um, so on Friday, I went to Detroit for a friend's okay. Um, birthday party. Okay. We were in the airport all day, Southwest. Horrible. Oh, wow. There's been a lot of things going on with the airlines. There's still airline problems Probably. today. Right. Sure. Air, air control, air control. They're having right. Yeah. There was there was a strike in Newark. Right. New Jersey. The people were in the airport for two days. Oh, wow. They couldn't go nowhere. So there's a lot of things going on with the airlines. And even when we were on the air on Southwest Airline Friday from Chicago going to Detroit, okay. when I tell you that turbulence was horrible. We thought we was finna fall out the plane. That's how bad it was jerking and shaking. It's that thick smoke in the air. Very much smoke. You're so right. Oh my goodness, Shade. So much smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And um and it took us for coming from Canada. Everybody you should all should know the smoke is coming from Canada. Very smoky coming from Canada. Yes. Shaking mm -hmm. like Girl, we thought that we was gonna fall out the plane. Girl, look, you have to <laughs> We're like, we to everybody on the plane, everybody on oh, Southwest really? was like, we might as well have got on Spirit. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> this is Spirit Airlines. They was leaving off the plane, upset, talking about this is Spirit Airlines, disrespecting them folks. I didn't say a word. Okay, because right. I said you will never put me on a do not fly list for arguing. I'm not saying nothing. Not I got stuff to do. Okay. Oh my. So God. when we. When we get there, that that was the situation for there. So there, it was you know turbulence. So Friday, so Sunday, our plane kept getting delayed. Oh, on the way back home, right? I kept getting delayed. So we make it to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes before the next, excuse me, the next um the next flight. What oh. really upset us? No, we didn't have to stay in the Chicago airport for six, uh, mm, almost six hours. Girl, you might as well drove to Detroit. No, no, on our way home. On the way home, yeah, but you know. Yeah, so we got we got to Chicago from Detroit. We got to Chicago like a quarter to to twelve. Like no, about ten, about ten minutes before twelve, right? Okay. They told us when we land that they delayed our, they got us on the next flight for 5.40 a.m. Oh, my God. We had to sit in them hard steel chairs. Ooh, there was oh. nowhere. you. We didn't have no bags, so we didn't have nothing we could sit up under your neck, That's take what? a nap on the pole, none of that. <laughs> Listen, don't them steel, them steel chairs remind you of prison? Yes, the they do. House? Yes, yes, horrible. 
I don't know. They need to pick something else. All that money you spend on the airline, you can't even get in a comfy chair. They need to make the chairs in the airport comfortable enough for a person to sleep in. Yes. Especially having all these delays. So what was funny, and I'm so mad I didn't get the footage. No man didn't take a garbage bag from off of one of the cleaners rack, lay it down on the floor because the floor was nasty. Lay down on that plastic bag, took his bag, put the bag up under his head, and took his hat and put the hat over his face. Okay. We laughed so hard. When where there's a will, there's a way. And, okay. and 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 my friend kept Landa kept saying, um, no, he didn't, and was laughing, talking about the man. She was like, How how did y'all sleep when y'all was in prison? Did y'all used to do? I said, We could sleep anywhere. Yeah. In prison, you would sleep anywhere. Okay. You can sleep anywhere. Thin mattress. Look, y'all, this thin, literally, that thin mattress like that. Ball your clothes up, put your clothes under your head and put your hands under your head. You don't have a blank. Sometimes you can have a paper blanket. That's a suicide. Suicide give you a paper blanket. Otherwise, a really thinner blanket to go over you, you'll sleep like a baby. You can sleep any kind of way on a when when if you in, under the circumstances right you yeah. need some rest you're gonna get some rest you can okay. sleep sitting up i yeah, fell asleep yeah. i put my purse under my neck and and, and tried to go to sleep sleeping in the workhouses in a chair just mm. sleeping straight up that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying honey that's what i'm saying and 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 what happened was so when we get on five o'clock in the so it's five o'clock in the morning uh-huh. we're going from chicago to minnesota Good thing was we were we were boarding A, so we got to go right on in, you know, because we, you know, got our tickets skipped over. So you know how Southwest is any any you any man every man for themselves. You could sit anywhere. Ain't no sign seats. I like that. Mm-hmm. When you first walk in, you know the first the front of the plane is all filled up because everybody's ready to go home. It's a delay. Mm. So I pull up. To my left of me, my friend, she said, she's like, come on, we need to try to sit in the front. She likes aisle seat. She found the aisle's first aisle seat she saw, she sat down. I like window seat. Mm -hmm. I go, and it's like a few rows up from the exit. I see the exit. Everybody say, don't sit on the exit because you got to help people. Okay. So two rows up from the exit seat is a white guy. Look, you know, like a business, you know, normal. Mm-hmm. He don't have nobody sitting next to him. He's on the aisle seat. I said, excuse me, I want to get in here so I can sit there. Do you know that man acted like a child? What? He act like a tri- child. Straight up racist. Mm. He sat there like this and he like scrowned his face up at me and looked at me and smacked his lips. <laughs> ah. What? I did it right back to him. I couldn't help myself. I did it. I I scrowned my face up at him. (laughs) And don't nobody want to sit next to your motherfucking ass anyway. Okay. You acting like you own. I said, you you acting like you own this motherfucker. Excuse my language, y'all, but that's exactly what I told him. I know that's right. And all the people, everybody around him, everybody around him was just staring at him. And they started offering me, they started offering me their seat. They started offering, you can sit here, you know, the ones that had uh, the aisle seat and the window seat. All the people that were sitting, it's like, you don't own this. And I thought about it, I said... I don't want to sit next to you. I, 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 there's known, there's, there's racists all across the world. We've hey, learned to deal with that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want to sit next to you, and I know the, how you feel, and that's what you are. Mm-hmm. So I moved right along. I didn't hold the line up, but I made sure I made the same noise as him, okay. scrounged my face up at him, and let him know that I know what time it is. Right. <laughs> exactly and i moved and i and i and i went and sat in a in an aisle and guess what a nice black woman sat next to me perfect okay. mm-hmm. perfect 
I don't know why people that are racist make you make you think or feel like you're supposed to feel a way about they don't like you. I don't like you either. You don't like me because of I'm black. I can't help it. You don't know really what it is. Is you white <laughs> and you don't like you because you white. Yeah. So you when you're I'm talking about I'm speaking to the racist people only. Mm -hmm. You don't like you because you're white. Mm -hmm. And you got a problem with everybody else. Yeah. Because you ain't happy with, with the skin that you was made of. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I I hate I even experienced that though. I was talking to my friend that that um my friend that's Caucasian. And she was like, you know what? You may not believe it or not because I'm white, but mm -hmm. it bothers me. It bothers me. I don't know how you feel because I'm not white. She's like, but it bothers me when I watch people do racial things. She said, I call them on it. I yeah. call them on it. I check them on it. I call them on it. Mm -mm. No, Lisa does that too. Lisa would Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa gets down. Lisa gets yeah. down. But you got to remember, Lisa feels the pain because of her children. Yeah, her children. Yeah. You, the, 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 you, your, your disrespect, her, not only her children, her husband. Her husband that's, yeah. that's what, that's her world. Of course, mm -hmm. she's going to go crazy. That's, that's her true. world. That's her, that's her life. Most definitely. Yeah. Well, so shout out to all the people, all the Caucasian people. That's you, we say we say white people, but all the Caucasian people yeah. that stand up for not only for us, but for what's right. What's right? What makes them That's feel everybody. uncomfortable? Yeah. Yes. Shout out to them. Salute to you for that. Positivity, 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 and more. Right. <laughs> right. And don't forget to subscribe to us if you have it hit yeah. the notification so you can get you know our shows you know know yeah. when we get on and yeah. see our lives yeah and support yeah. our sponsors uh, Lux, our sponsors cashmere lux boss up beauty and lena beans body butter guys peace